Hi guys, I'm Mario and this is a quick update on the Kingston K16S. I'm a last mile commuter, doing only short commutes, so I'm using the wheel alongside public transport to get to places, which means that I predominantly ride in an urban environment, so that's bike lanes, tarmac, pavements. The K16S has been performing really well, I've ridden it in nice weather, but also in strong wind, in rain, I've gone through mud, through puddles, and it's holding on pretty well. My previous wheel was the 9Bot 1E+, Plus, which is a great starter wheel, but cannot compare to the speed or the range of the K16S. One of the reasons why I went with the Kingston was its similar size to the 9Bot, but with way better internals and also having a front light, which helps you see when you ride in the dark. But personally, the best feature and the biggest upgrade is the telescopic trolley handle, which allows me to roll the wheel whilst I'm walking, which is very helpful if you're a daily commuter. The ability to roll the wheel whilst walking is so helpful for me because often when I'm at the train station I need to change platforms or or catch a train just move from from one end to the other end and being able to just just roll the wheel it's so much easier than actually having to carry it because it's it's quite heavy at times especially if you have other stuff on you as well the handle is great but it's not perfect sometimes I find myself when I press down the handle one of the sides doesn't lock in properly so that's why I need to make sure that I press down firmly so it's secure otherwise when you lift the wheel you can you can bend the handle and then you wouldn't be able to put it back together another mild inconvenience is the lack of automatic shut off when you pick up the unicycle because as a commuter I go up and down the stairs a lot so being able to just pick up the wheel and go it's it's so much easier but with this wheel you can't do that so you have to manually turn it on and off on and off which can sometimes be very annoying especially if you're in a rush the last issue that i have with this unit is actually my fault because i was showing off how fast i can accelerate which resulted in an accident and ever since that accident the speaker in in the k16s just does not work so if I'm going too fast, I don't get a warning and also I can't play music through the speaker, which is a bummer. But I can't really blame Kingston for the accident because that was my fault. And maybe one day I'll, I'll open the machine and I'll fix it or, or see if I can actually fix the problem. Talking about fixing, at Speedy Fit we're thinking about starting a new series of videos where we open unicycles and we fix them or we replace parts and we were thinking of maybe calling it maintenance Monday or something along those lines. So if you guys are interested in seeing us fixing unicycles, potentially uh, answering issues which you might have with your wheels and seeing how you can actually fix that issue yourself. If you're interested in videos about fixing electric unicycles, please let us know in the comments so we can because we want some feedback, we want to grow this channel, we want to improve this channel, so we want to give you content that you actually enjoy watching and it can be helpful to you. Going back to the wheel, the K16S or any unicycle in general is a great icebreaker and I've, I've met some very interesting people on the public transport and because of this unicycle I had very interesting conversations with loads of people. So even though I'm a more of an introvert person, actually like meeting people and this is such an easy way to to chat with strangers basically anyway apart from the handle and the lack of an automatic shut off i'm really happy with this wheel i'm genuinely enjoying riding it and the freedom that it gives me to go around town it's it's so good especially because at the moment i don't drive so this is basically this and public transport is my main means of of getting anywhere. If you're in the market for a unicycle, I recommend the K16S because I really love the size of it, the form factor, and also it's really durable considering I had some major accidents which I'll talk about in a future video. I'll continue riding and I will let you know how it performs when I get to the 1000 km mark, but so far I'm really happy with this machine, so I'm actually I might keep it after, after the review is over. Thank you guys for watching the video, like, share, subscribe and also let us know if you want to see Maintenance Monday coming into fruition because I think it would be really really fun and interesting way to, to show more of a DIY side of the, of the unicycle world.